Hello, this is reporter Ellie for Lincolnshire Scouts News and today I'm here with Ellie Compton, County Commissioner for Lincolnshire Scouts, to talk about St George's Day. Ellie, I think it's fair to say this isn't where you thought you'd be for St George's Day this year. No, that's right. These surroundings aren't quite the setting of Burley House or Windsor Castle where I hope to have been supporting many of our volunteers at the Adults Awards Dinner and the National Day of Celebration and Achievement. I was really proud on their behalf to see so many Lincolnshire adults listed in the National Roll of Honour and Lincolnshire young people recorded as achieving their top awards on census. Also glad that I'm at least able to link our homes to Mark St George's Day in a bit of a different way this year. It's a difficult time for scouting right now. How do you think your members are bearing up in these unusual times. It has. Recent weeks have been a testing time for the country as a whole and since face-to-face -face scouting has been ceased, I've been totally inspired by the creativity, resilience and determination all of the volunteers have shown to look after themselves, each other and stay connected. Whether they're scouting a lot or a little, providing key services or caring for their families and friends, their actions to stay home, save lives and look after each other really displays the absolute heart of our Scout values of integrity, respect, care, belief and cooperation. I know I and everyone around you will be glad of the contribution that all of our volunteers are making to their family and community and I really thank them for that. As well as celebrating the patron saint of Scouting, St George's Day also offers a day of reflection to Scouters what would you like to say to members of Sleaford District? Traditionally on St George's Day we look back at the last year and celebrate the achievements among us. As a county we've had another superb year of scouting. Sleaford District have been a massive part of that. There's been great adventure in our activities, events and expeditions through the year, both within districts and the wider county, not forgetting our contingent to the World Scout Jamboree in West Virginia and other international trips. Over 800 young people across Lincolnshire achieved their top awards thanks to the commitment of their leaders and support of their parents and carers. In Sleaford, they've celebrated 133 of their young people, showing the best they can be within their sections. Bravo to all of them. I hope they've enjoyed some real adventure. 290 of our amazing volunteers received recognition for their adult service to scouting. Although volunteers don't volunteer to earn recognition, these awards give a timely reminder that their commitment and dedication is appreciated. I hope those around them have offered thanks and I add my personal thanks to all of the Sleaford leaders, helpers and trustees for their ongoing dedication to their sections, groups and the district and for all the time they give to others um, for experience in scouting. I'd like to give a special mention of the 30 Long Service Awards, 26 Chief Scout Commendations for Good Service, 9 Awards for Merit and 3 bars to the Award for Merit recognition that were awarded to Sleaford Adults during the last year. Congratulations to all of them. What thoughts would you like to share with members of Lincolnshire Scouts? I think this year on St George's Day we're facing the dragon of our time, hopefully with the same characteristics of courage, chivalry and charity. When St George was faced by a difficulty or danger, however great it appeared, even in the shape of a dragon, he did not fear it, but tackled it with all the power he could. That's exactly the way a scout should face a difficulty or danger, no matter how great or terrifying it may appear, boldly and confidently using every power they can to overcome it, and the probability is that they will succeed. Let's hope that mindset also helps our key workers and carers, many of whom are also volunteers and scouting, and shapes each of us into the people that others turn to for assistance in their time of need. Although this may not be the way you hope to celebrate St George's Day, how will you be marking the occasion this year? I will miss the parades this year, but tonight in my uniform I'll clap for carers, for all of our volunteers, those who are no longer with us and all those around us who are doing what they can to help others in their communities. As I renew my promise on my doorstep, I'm going to be thinking hard on how my actions will fulfil those words in the weeks and months ahead. And I thank all our volunteers for their best and their duty and their thank help. Thank you, Ellie. Well, that's it. Happy St George's Day to you all. And thank you very much for all you do for scouting.